All right, this is going to be a quick video. I'm pretty much done with this SKS M for now. Um, I still haven't filled the, the front of the stock here because this was for a regular SKS, not the one that used the AK mags. But I changed the, the front sight with the bayonet lug out. Um, if you remember, I used a Yugo one because I want to flip up night sights, which I haven't acquired yet, but it had this right here on it. So I threw it in the lathe and turned that all down. To me, it just didn't look right without the, the grenade launcher on it. So I turned it all down. You can see it. It works just like it's supposed to. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I gotta find a hole, just a rear sight here, because on the Yugo SKS, it has a flip up night sight. Same thing with the front here. It has the regular sight, and then it has a flip up front night sight. So I have to get the, the flip up sights yet. And then I think this will be pretty much done. Um, like I said, my dad always wanted me to put a bayonet on it. I never got around to it. Um, when he was alive but that's it um, when I do get around to doing the stock I will post a video but for now I think that's uh, that's good so got to sight it in when I do that I will uh, do a video on it but other than that I think it turned out well this was a full 15 inch bayonet I had to shorten it because this being a paratrooper model. Um, other than that, I really don't know what to say. This is uh, just a really fun gun to shoot. I think it turned out good. I think it looks good. Um, any of you that been with the, that were with the old channel know that I converted this SKS at one time to use AK mags, and I just converted it back to using these. Um, all I have to do is swap out the trigger guard now because the trigger guard, your other one, has the AK mag release mount. And then uh, I have to take the, the bolt hold down latch out of here in order to use AK mag. So it's not like just pop the trigger guard out and swap them. I do have to knock the pin out and take the spring and the bolt hold back out. I guess I don't have to have the bolt hold back in. You can load these from the bottom. But I like being able to use stripper clips and run them through. And then uh, let her snap closed. And then she's good to go. But that's, uh, that's where I'm at with these projects. I do kind of like the bayonet. I mean, I don't know what it would be, you know. I guess it's not really like... Uh, for just modern sporting day rifles, there's really no need for it, but I just think it's cool to have it on there. But this is my Yugo SKS. This is my SKS M that when they came from imported, they didn't have the bayonet lug on there and that. So, like I said, this one I I always wanted to put the bayonet back on it. Um, my dad always wanted the bayonet on it. I never got around to doing it, but now the bayonet's back on it. So, hope everybody has a good day, and uh, see you on the flip side.